Ladies and gents, boys and girls, I've just bought myself some RNG or RG, RNG racing products. I bought myself the, let's get that the right way up. Rear, easy to read it, rear spindle sliders. I'm going to show you them. Hang on, let's have a look. Right hand side, left hand side, and quite splendid they are too. Now, what I'm going to do now is, well, I'm going to take them out, take them off and reinstall them and show you how to do it. Right, what we're going to need tools wise, important for me, shit knees and knee pad. I always use one. Right, what else? Two 10 mil sockets. Um, that's got a story, hasn't it? Look at that. Snap on tools. That's 30... Got that in 1986, so it's that nearly 35 years old when I was an apprentice. And another snap on socket, a little quarter drive, and a little Stanley ratchet. So basically, two 10mm sockets and preferably some Loctite thread lock. That's all we're going to need. Okay, so what do you get in the box? Spindle, right hand bobbin, and spacer. We'll come to that in a minute. Left hand bobbin and reel, what you're going to call it, and spacer. Notice the difference. The right hand bobbin has that little gubbins there that goes in to that spindle hole there. Make sure that's seated properly. We'll come to that in a minute. You get two washers, two nylon nuts, and these little rubber nut covers which go on afterwards at the finish. Now, being apprentice trained and a bit of an anorak, there's a right and a wrong way to fit a washer. Um, it's how they're, print, how they're pressed through sheet metal. There's a, there's a sharp edge and a smooth side. So being anal, I like to make sure that's correct and I fit them in, I install it with the sharp side of the washer inwards. Now, as you can see, what we've got is a thread on this end here, which is actually smaller, and you've got a longer edge here with the thread, that's to the left hand side of the bike. Remember all that, let's get to fitting it. Right, now, as I said, we're gonna work from the right hand side of the bike first. We have the small ended thread, we're gonna put the washer on, like I said, the right way around, so the sharp edge is in, and then we're gonna install the nut. Before we do, I'm just gonna put a bit of thread lock, a bit of lock tight. It is a nylon lock nut anyway, but it only needs a nibble, as you can see, just a small amount, I'll put that in front of the camera. As you can see, it's probably a bit blurred, but you can see the blue thread lock. And we're going to thread on the 10 mil nylock nut. Make sure you're not threading it. And you can pretty much, because it's not that hard, you can pretty much hold that spindle and start running that on. Now, you want to make sure you get into your original nylock and go on about two or three, if I can see it. It's almost fully on now. Just make sure it's on. Right, so it's showing about two or three, oops, knocked it with my snap-on so socket. Two or three threads worth of nut, of bolt, sorry, showing. Okay, at that point, now that's on and done and dusted. Okay, so we've got that installed. Thread locks in place, we're happy. Next is to install the two, well, one of these bobbins, if you like. Now, there are two bobbins, of course, one for each side, but they are different. Look at the size of the holes. That one is for the right hand side, it's bigger. That's for the right hand side of your bike. We'll put that one on first. Quite simply, you do this. Bang, done. Next, you get your spacer. Remember earlier, I mentioned the one with the little nubbling on, this little black thing here, that goes to the inside, and that will then go flush to that. Let's push that through the axle spindle on the bike. In she goes, and make sure that that spindle spacer there sits flush in. That goes in there, push that home, Remembering your washer's got a bit right way around, don't forget that, otherwise I'll haunt you. Right, that's done, that side, okay? Get your socket, put it on the floor nearby. 
right there because you're going to need it. Let's go to the other side. Right, this side, just push on the right hand side so you're not pushing that through. Just hold it still. You have this bad boy, this spacer. That goes over the top and actually it goes, covers your axle nut. Remember again, now we've got a situation where we have to put the smaller hold bobbin, because we're on the left hand side, onto there. Remember your washer being the right way around. Don't forget your sharp side in, push it on, get your socket. The way to do that, of course, generally is put the nut inside the socket like so. And you should just be able to start the thread. Now, what did I forget to do? Let's get my lock tight because I'm a bit of a fussy git. Just a bit of blue stuff. We love it, really. Make sure the sockets, the, the washer's flush. It's falling out again, doesn't matter. I'll get it in a minute. Push it on. Get the socket. It's quite an easy job. Start running that nut in onto there. Now, the goal, of course, is to have as much thread either side. So what we'll do is, I'm happy with the amount of thread that I've got on the right hand side. And I'm just gonna make sure everything's locked out. I'm just gonna nip this up now. And I have got just enough thread showing I'm just about into my nylock on the nut there, which is great. All we need to do then is make sure it's tight and it isn't on the right hand side. So what I'm gonna do, it shouldn't be spinning according to the um, RNG website. So we're gonna put a bit more on that. Nip that up. Should still be all right. And then we've got no spin. Then we install these. They're a bit fiddly these, they just push in and they're, they're made to a certain standard. You've just got to mess around with them a little bit just to make them cover up the nut. Push it home, that's that side. We'll do the same for the other side. Like that should just push in as I say they don't spin they're not spinners now we're on we're done so that's it fitted it's a two or three minute job not difficult but uh, it's I think that's probably the best one if you haven't got a center stand which I have it's ideal because it also doubles up as a paddock stand mount as well either side so that's quite handy it's a nice bit of a kit uh, Australian retail about $80 uh, which is about too many zeros, which is about normal for Australia, and probably about half that in the UK and uh, in, in pounds. So, yeah, good little product. I expect I'll be getting my front spindle very soon. I'm sure it fits the same way. Can't wait.